Time for another IPA from Burlington Beer Company. Hey aficionados, Sean here, and today we are taking a look at Stainless Forest from Burlington Beer Company. It is 8.2% ABV, it's a double IPA, and it's brewed with Simcoe and Amarillo hops. They say that it has notes of tangerine, dank weed, and tropical juice. Simcoe and Amarillo were not exactly my favorite hops, but I like the last beer that I had from Burlington Beer Company, so let's dig into this one. Holy smokes. So the first thing I noticed with this on the aroma is that like stinky, oniony, dank character coming through. It really does smell like real onions. It does have a bit of a soft fruity character behind it. Some passion fruits, maybe some stone fruits. Got a citrusy character to it as well. Definitely an earthiness in there. Hints of pine coming through. But it is really upfront with that oniony dank character with the soft fruits underneath that. Cheers. <laughs> yep. So, really strong dank weed character to this one. But I get that oniony kind of chivey, garlicky thing that I get from Simcoe hops sometimes. Very pungent in this one. Again, it's like real onions. It does have a bit of a juicy, soft, fruity character behind it though. Getting the tangerine that they mentioned. Grapefruit juiciness. Some stone fruit maybe. Like a little bit of a peachiness. Uh, some of the passion fruit that I mentioned as well. Maybe even a bit of a sweet melon character in there too. Really clean, bready malt backbone to this one. It's got a nice sudsy, creamy-ish mouthfeel around medium bodied. Also getting a really solid earthy character, especially on the back end. Some pine coming through that accompanies that. Maybe even a touch floral, but it dries up really nicely on the finish. The lingering characteristics some of the piney earthiness and some pithy citrus. All right, so for my final thoughts on Stainless Forest, this one is also gonna get another solid A- minus for me. It's very different from it's complicated being a wizard, but it's still just as solid. I would put it really, really close to that one. I would probably take it's complicated being a wizard slightly just because I prefer that hop character a little bit more. It's not my favorite hop combination, and I've definitely had some better Simcoe beers, but I still really enjoy it, and I think it's well done. Have you guys tried Stainless Forest? What do you think of it? And what do you think of Simcoe and Amarillo hops? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, drink responsibly and passionately. Thanks for watching.